parents too. It's time for you guys to learn and get used to English. <laughs> uh, of this country, the United States, and most, more importantly, is the future of the world. Because I think the world belongs to young people. And I think the future belongs to, uh, well, we're very lucky. We live in the United States of America. You know, the United States is going to be, continuing to be a very strong country, a force. And another one that we're fortunate is, I believe that the other country that's going to be a force is China. So we are right in the middle of great timing, great opportunity, and to be a great world where we have peace, prosperity, people can live together, really means we have to be able to communicate, to understand each other. Uh, ourselves starting with our own, our friends, our siblings, our families. So it's very good to see that we are beginning from the very important uh, foundation of starting with the family. So I'm really glad to see we're all here as a family. We're united and we understand, we communicate with each other, and then we can start learning about other people communicating with the rest of the world. So this is the purpose, the goal of uh, a few of us. You know, Mr. Steve Chan is one of them. And uh, I have another friend called YP Chan. He's another one. We have talked about this idea of how to uh, encourage uh, the civic engagement by Chinese Americans via education and philanthropy. So I asked Emily to put this on the board. So while I'm talking, you can take a look at the very essence of the purpose of what we are trying to uh, to do. So I think we we'll start with young people. I think it's very important. Young people, especially when we talk about uh, this idea of philanthropy and community and civic engagement, it's something that's really quite uh, not used to uh, the Chinese American uh, because of our social, uh, our history, our culture. Uh, it, you know, it's something that's foreign to us. So I, but it is important to be communicating with the other people, other cultures. The way to do that is by engaging ourselves, by providing value, by providing uh, value to the community, to other people, so that we have opportunity to understand each other and help each other to have influence. So as you can see, the goal is to advance civic engagement by Chinese American about education and philanthropy. Chinese American must seek greater impact, influence, in the land we live and call home. To do this, we have to contribute to the greater good 
through adding value to our community, its people, and their well-being, to earn respect, trust, and ultimately influence in politics. Um, there are many, many of us who are here because of timing. And we're very lucky to be in a place where we have great global influence, particularly from China. So many different people feel that, you know, whether they're newcomers or whether they're people who've been here for the last 150 years. You know, we all feel that we need to have the ability to have more influence so that we can be heard. We can affect whatever we want to have our young people, that they have a place where they can maximize their full potential. So the Pathway Foundation, uh, we pick the name because the pathway gives us uh, a clear direction, a, a dao lu, uh, fan fa, fan xiang. You know, it's a, the path, how do we connect from one place to the other place, which is how do we learn from being a self-centered community with a different culture to another culture that we actually can provide value. We understand and we can make the connection. Ultimately, it's communication. So we are platform not only to advocate the need to encouragement, but actually give direction, provide the way, find the path, and give guidance in projects, opportunities, and activities that lead to hands-on training and experience according to one's own interest, ability, and aspiration. The thing that we I just read, the last sentence, is what's going to make Pathway Foundation different from many, many other uh, organizations and other advocates. We hear a lot about we all want to have more influence. We want to have more ability to do certain things. But oftentimes, it's just a lot of talk. So Pathway Foundation, what Mr. Chen and YP Chen and I have envisioned, and we have started to create this, is an actual hands-on experience. We want to start with the young people like yourself, you know, like you give you opportunities. I'm very lucky. We are very fortunate. Your parents are very fortunate that we have young people who are as smart as you are, who are as uh, motivated as you are, who's ready, you know, to take on this uh, wonderful opportunity and challenges. The only thing that's missing is provide you with quality opportunities and activities, things you actually can learn, can experience firsthand, things that you're interested in, that you will see fit, that you know your parents and your family, your community value, and you can be part of it. Because this is how, the only way you can actually learn. You cannot learn this from the books. You cannot learn by getting straight A's in college. You have to do it by knowing what actual experience, actual reaction, actual interaction, actual things that you have to do, what flexibility you have to have. You know, it only, you only learn it by actually doing it. And I think this is what we want to have you, to give you the opportunity. And Mr. Chan, Mr. Chan and me, and your parents, we all have connections. We all have opportunities to find these challenges, these opportunities to provide you, young people, something that you can learn in a safe environment with no judgment, something that you are interested in. And I think that's one of the things that I hope to be doing is we have given to you, which you have proven that you are very good at is my re-election campaign. You know, the proof <coughs> of the pudding is I got re-elected, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because of what you guys have done to help. And you haven't done anything that has set the world on fire. But maybe ultimately, you know, you can and you will. And that's what I always advocate. We should have vi visions, we share a lot of <coughs> dreams. You know, we need to think higher, higher aspirations, but you have to start from somewhere. You start from building your own self-confidence, doing things a step at a time. And this is what we want to do to help you. Your parents want to do to help you. We provide you with 
hands-on opportunities that you <coughs> learn what you are interested or maybe you're not interested but you have the opportunity to take a step at a time eventually you find what you really want to do you really want you are good at you really dream about so eventually you get to you know what you want to be you know it's unlimited so I just I'm done with this general uh, comment, and I hope that, uh, you know, after this, uh, we will continue, okay? This is why we have this uh, mayoral internship. It's those of you that have time, that have interest, that have ideas, you want to take the next step to find something to get your hands wet, you know, get connected with, uh, we'll be very happy together working with your parents to give you the opportunity to really be good at it, to be successful, to build your self-confidence. So uh, I want to thank you all again and thank all the parents that have helped you, that have allowed you, that have encouraged you in whatever way. Maybe sometimes even try to uh, discourage you. <laughs> But regardless, you know, this is all part of life, part of learning, part of living how to become successful and build confidence in yourself. So I'm done, and so uh, Emily will come back and will introduce uh, some of the young people and share with everybody, right, your own experience, and you see how uh, we can have a fun evening. The key is, whatever we do, we want to have fun. We're going to enjoy ourselves, right? Okay, so let's have fun, and let's have Emily uh, get the program going, and we can all sit back and parents and see uh, what and uh, how much you are proud of your children. So thank you very much.